Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. On this video, I am going to show you how that you can try to avoid broken belts on your auger belt and also um, snow sticking inside the augers. I've had uh, a lot of people email me saying uh, my, you know, my, my auger won't spin and they press down the handle on the auger belt and it actually smokes, which is uh, your belt actually smoking. And a lot of it is due to when people put their machines away, they, they get snow in here and the snow melts and then it turns to ice and then these augers will actually seize up. Okay, so it'll seize up right back here. All right, so it's real important that you either one, clean all that out before you put it away um, or two, when you go, when you stop to like put gas in it and come back to it maybe 10 minutes later, they could actually freeze up in there if you've been blowing a lot of snow and there's a lot of packed snow. My next point on that one is silicone spray. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, I have nothing to do with CRC. I'm just, this is just a heavy duty silicone I've been using for 20 years. And I actually spray all my customers' machines all inside here, all inside the back augers, up inside the chute here. Um, and before they go out from service, they all get siliconed up and it really does help. Now with silicone spray, you do have to remember, you have to do this every time it snows. So after the machine doesn't have any snow in it or right before you're ready to go out and blow snow, you spray all around in here with silicone spray, spray up inside here. It does work great. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is that we're going to fire this thing up and run it. And I'll show you when, when you're blowing snow, a lot of people tend to let go of the handle, the auger handle, and that actually stops these things from running. And you do not want to do that at the end of your run. What you want to do is you want to make sure that there's nothing coming out of the chute, you know, before you turn or whatever. I try to keep mine on. 100% um, all the time. I just be really careful where you're shooting the snow. You don't want to have a rock come out and hit a house or hit somebody. You just got to be very careful. Um, so it depends on the area and it depends on the person how you want to operate it. But if you can keep these augers moving, they tend to not get clogged up. Um, when you stop at the end of a pass and you want to turn around and come back, if you stop, sometimes you can push snow in here while you're turning the machine around. You hit the auger handle and then the belt starts to smoke again. If you ever smell smoke or see white smoke coming out from underneath the belt cover, which is here, um, belt covers here. This, this has the auger belt and the transmission drive belt. Normally you don't have any transmission drive belt issues too much, but you do have a lot of auger issue belts and then you have to go under here and see what's going on. But most of the time it is due to the augers getting hung up or a rocket stuck. You can even have a rocket stuck between these um, fins right here, between the, the housing and the fins and they get stuck. So you do have to be careful. Now another thing too is if it stops blowing snow very well, check your shear pins. If this one here actually has four shear pins and the shear pin is looking like this right here. It's got like a little butterfly clip on it here. Well, you have shear pin here, there's a shear pin here. There is a shear pin over here and there's a shear pin over here. So we have four shear pins on this machine and they're hard to, they're hard to um, see sometimes depending on which way the augers are sitting. Actually, this one's actually, you have one here and then one on this side here. Okay, so you have four. Now, some of these machines do actually come with, with shear pins back here. Some, some people get their machines and the shear pins, the shear pin holder. It's a very nice thing to have. So always have yourself some extra shear pins. They put them here and they won't go anywhere because they have clips on the bottom of them. And then you just have to, it's a little bit tricky getting the shear pins in and out, but you can do it uh, if you have to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically make a, make just a couple passes. And I was born with the one hand, so it's a little bit harder for me. And this machine, the machines that have, when you can put the handle down one way and put this auger handle down, it actually locks them. Mine does not. I got the, uh, the 599.99 one at Home Depot and uh, it doesn't come with all the whistles and bells like a lot of them do. So I have to do everything by hand and left arm. So I want to fire it up, I'm going to run it and just show you that, you know, you don't want to stop the auger turning until all the snow is out. So I'll fire it up and check it out real quick.
Okay, so as you saw, I kind of just let it fly out until there was nothing come out of the chute. And this is just a good habit to get into. Just make sure before you go and, and turn it around, just make sure before you let go of the handle that all the snow is out of the auger chute and uh, you should be okay. And definitely keep up, keep the check on your shear pins. Silicone is a great thing. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Appreciate everybody watching my videos. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.